Hey there, it's Ben Hassel here. In this video tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we sync up sound in Final Cut Pro 10. So the footage and the audio that we've got, we've recorded on two different devices. So for the video, we're using this Active On CX camera. Now the audio in the built-in microphone for this is not great. Um, so in order to record the audio, um, we're going to be using a lav mic plugged into my phone. So it's an Android phone, so I'm using the built-in voice recorder um, to record the audio there, um, and that runs through the, the lav mic. So the main thing we need to consider when we're setting this up um, is that we can hear both sound sources um, when we're talking. So we can never put the Active On CX too, too far away. Um, otherwise, in Final Cut Pro, you can't do the automatic audio synchronization. You can do it manually, and we'll have a little look at that and how we can produce a sound signal at the beginning of our video to do that, which is essentially a, a clap or something like that at the beginning of your video that both the video and audio can hear um, and that we can use as a sound sync. We can also use the automatic feature to sync things up too. So the audio recorder on the Android phone is the built-in audio recorder and essentially it will pick up the sound signal um, from this external mic um, rather than the sound signal from the internal mic. So when we hit record, we're gonna get a sound signal as you can see um, and we can use that to sync up and obviously the lav mic will attach uh, nicely to a t-shirt or a shirt or something like that and you'll get a much better sound signal because it will be closer. We've got the Activon uh, CX on a Gorillapod which is quite nice. It means you can um, extend it out a little bit further than your arm's length to do a, a selfie style uh, portrait. And the Gorillapods are, are great for these types of cameras because they're nice and lightweight so you can really attach them anywhere where you can get a reasonable grip on them without worrying about it moving too much except maybe in the wind or falling off and it doesn't need to be attached to something that needs to carry too much weight. So they're really handy, these Gorilla tripods for these lighter weight action cameras that you can get. Okay, so essentially uh, when we hit record and I'll just run through this again, we're gonna first of all turn on our Activon camera and then once we hit the record button um, at the top here, we'll press record, start that camera um, recording and then once it's recording, we can just set these two mics side by side. So if the lav mic is attached, that's fine. Um, hit record on the audio recorder and then give a clap and then keep rolling. So the main thing we wanna do now is not stop the recording and then start again. We wanna keep the cameras rolling as we um, record our video and audio and that will make the sync pretty seamless and perfect whether we have to do it manually or we can use the automatic features in Final Cut Pro 10. So now we've recorded some footage and we're gonna jump into Final Cut Pro 10 and have a look at how we sync these two signals up. So we've got two uh, clips here and in Final Cut Pro 10, um, it's really easy to actually sync up the, the clips. So we can highlight both of these by holding down shift and selecting these two clips. And then if we go to, and then if we go to clip and synchronize clip, it will bring up the synchronized menu. So here you can see we're gonna synchronize using the audio synchronization and then essentially here we've got an option to disable the audio components on AV clips. I'm going to leave that off for the moment, this checkbox. We're going to keep the default name here, click OK and essentially what we have here is a clip that we can edit with. We can see that it's um, a synchronized clip, that it's got multiple clips within it and if we right click on this clip and go to open clip, it's going to open that clip up in the timeline and you can see the offset that's been created um, with, two, with the two different uh, soundtracks that we've got here. Sound from the active on camera um, is a little bit tinny, um, it picks up loads of the wind around the microphone and although it's a pretty windy day when I was filming, the lav mic still does a much better job of picking up the, the kind of depth and tone of your voice. So the lav mic's a really good idea if you're working with cheaper cameras. The only problem is obviously sometimes it does show up a little bit depending on what you're hooking it up to. Um, and I'll leave a link below to the, the lav mic that I'm using and it's essentially plugged into a, an Android phone. So if we come down here, now we can drop down the audio for our video clip and the sound does sync up pretty well. So as you can see here, when I hit play. Hey there, it's Ben Housel here and we are in a sunny U of R. Uh, in Saskatchewan, Regina, um, and just doing a little bit of a sound sync test. So, and you can see if I lift the sound up for the original clip and play back the same section. Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and we are in a sunny U of R uh, in Saskatchewan, Regina, um, and just doing a little bit of a sound sync test. So, we get lots more of that wind noise, lots more of that kind of interference um, on the, the camera mic itself. Definitely a good idea to use a lav mic. It's really easy to sync up the clips in Final Cut Pro 10 to get that high quality audio that you'll be working with. And so the next step then is to work with this clip in an edit. So essentially 
what we can do is we can come to a regular timeline. So now once I drag this down to the timeline, um, then we'll see that the video track will play and we can edit it just like a, a regular video track. So if I pause this by tapping K, come back to the beginning, I'm just gonna shuttle through some of this unneeded part of the clip before I start talking, mark an out point and delete it. So there we have it, that's how to sync up two tracks um, within Final Cut Pro 10. Um, we can also do this manually ourselves within a, a clip too. So if we select our clip here, the original clip, open it up, okay, we have this audio and video timeline. We can drag down um, our new audio track and edit it straight into that original clip. So that's then how to synchronize up clips um, in Final Cut Pro 10 and then how to edit with them um, on the main timeline. Um, it works really well. The audio synchronization is really good as long as you've got two relatively clear um, audio tracks. And thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.